The Zone Tool. Accessible from the toolbar, the Zone Tool is used to designate and identify the different sections of your floor plan. To place a zone, click and drag from one corner of the plan to another, manipulating zone nodes where needed. Once placed, a zone can be assigned a zone type and display square meterage. A variety of options are available for different zone types. Interior zone indicates the interior area of the building, drawn to the outer edge of the walls. All complete plans must have this accurately placed to display footprints on the site plan. Common zone is optional, used to indicate a public area or co-space for multi-tenanted buildings. Tenanted zone is optional, used to indicate specific tenancies throughout a building. Other tenanted zone indicate a section shown on the plan is unknown or not required on the current floor plan and will be greyed out. Identified zone, used to add room names and identify and categorise areas on a plan with text and colour options. Private zone, used to hide information that might be sensitive for a section of floor plan from those without access. Presentation zone, used to identify and highlight areas via colour. Room zone, lists all your placed rooms while selected. Fire alarm zone, lists all your placed alarms while selected. Zone colours can be set manually or left as automatic. Name and colour selection affects that zone's display in all areas, such as the sign zone legend. It is recommended for ease of use to lock your zone layer in the visibility settings to avoid accidental selection of zones while working.